Good morning, Smith Station High School. I'm Taylor Hasty here with your latest edition of PNM. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention salute pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Latin dance practice will be every Tuesday morning from 8 to 8.30. If anyone would like to join, please come to the meeting or practices in Mrs. Khan's room. PTO will be selling carnations for Valentine's Day. You can send a red one for love with a message, a white one for a secret admirer with a message, a yellow for friendship with a message, or a surprise color with a message. The next math team meeting will be February the 4th at 8.15 a.m. in 226B. Anyone interested is welcome to attend. And now, here's today's lunch menu. Today for lunch, you'll be having fajita chicken wrap or potato bar with sides of California vegetables, Mexican beans, and fruit. The dress closet is now open. See Mrs. D. Bird if you're interested in looking at or purchasing a prom dress. And now, here's today's birthday shout outs. We sing happy birthday to you. And may all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday. Here's Katie to tell you a little bit about Cheer Nationals. Next week, the SSHS cheerleaders are heading to Orlando, Florida for UCA High School Nationals. I asked some of the cheerleaders how they've been preparing and how they feel about this upcoming competition. Here's what they said. We've been preparing by practicing lots and lots. Um, we really are focusing on the little stuff this year and try to make sure like we're doing the little stuff that matters. Um, but I have a really good feeling about it since we did it last year and now we know kind of like what to expect. So really excited to end my senior year in Disney with some Disney years on. <laughs> so for Disney we have been preparing by having a lot of after school practices and we have changed a lot of things around just for the better um, but it's all coming along uh, like really good and I'm excited about Disney. Um, I'm ready to just hit our last competition and just do it to the best that we can. Um, I feel like we're going to do good um, and I think our practices are going to pay off. Um, I feel as if we've been preparing a lot. We've been um, going to practices and working hard and things like that. Um, I think we're going to do really good, especially with all the time and effort that we've put into it. And um, just ready to have a good time at Disney. This has been Katie Richardson, PNN. Kyle went around and asked some of you students the legacy that Kobe Bryant had on you. Last Sunday, we lost a legend, Kobe Bryant. He made a gigantic impact on today's life and the culture he brought upon LA and just the United States in general was extremely impactful and we went around the school today to find out what the impact he had on other students inside some station. Uh, when Kobe died it like ain't feel real and it, it affected me pretty badly because I kind of I kind of imitate and take from Kobe moves and watch what he do and like I want to have the mommy mentality where I do and he he had that mommy mentality and that killer instinct. Okay, I feel about Kobe, like he just inspired me with his work ethic and his mama mentality. That's what I respect about him and I liked about him. Like he always wanted to improve and get better. And that's why I tried to take him to my game. Okay, the impact that uh, Kobe Bryant had on me is uh, just the way he carried himself. A lot of people compare him to Michael Jordan, but he was able to set his own legacy and uh, the way he did it, he was so articulate. He was not only a genius on the court, but off the court. He was uh, always held education to the higher standard. He always uh, encouraged the youth to pursue uh, their education and just to be the best at whatever they do. So uh, Kobe Bryant, just, just thinking back and all the things that he stood for and all that he did, he always gave his best. He left everything on the court and he, I feel like he gave everything you know, uh, in his life before he passed. So. This has been Kyle Long, being a. Here's another edition of What Grinds Your Gears. I went around school and asked some of your fellow classmates what grinds their gears. Here's what they had to say. Uh, my biggest pet peeve is probably be somebody who's walking slow in the hallways. You guys need to speed up. 
Um, I hate when people are lazy and don't put in work, especially in sports. Like, you're not going to get anywhere and you're not helping the team if you're lazy. Something that grinds my gears is whenever people are intentionally annoying. Like, if you ask them to stop and then they're purposely annoying for no reason. What really grinds my gears is when people are starting to tell me something and they go, oh, mm, never mind. That really makes me upset because just, just finish your sentence. What were you going to tell me? That really makes me upset. One thing that grinds my gears is when I'm driving and people come to a complete stop just to turn. That's like really rude to me. You can turn at full speed if you ask me. Just saying. When me and my twin sister have to share a car. Done. When Waverly interrupts me while I'm eating lunch to go film a PNN video. <laughs> Smacking. <laughs> One of my biggest pet peeves is when my sister takes my clothes um, and then claims that they're hers because they're not. I took some of your teachers and students and asked them to give me some of their best pickup lines. Here's how they did. Are you 100% cotton? Oh yeah, that's why I picked you. <laughs> if I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. Are you a parking ticket? Cause you got fine written all over you. If you were a chicken, you'd be impeccable. If you were a Transformer, you'd be Optimus Fine. Okay. Is your name Google because you're all that I've been searching for? <laughs> yo, baby, yo, baby, hey, I know you're tired because you've been running through my mind all day long. This has been Isabel Rivera, PNN. Here's the blindfolded makeup challenge with Bella. I took a couple of your PNN members and had them take part of the blindfolded makeup challenge. Here's how they did. Hello, I'm uh, not James Charles. Yeah. How you do makeup with a blindfold on? First, we're gonna um, grab some lipstick. Oh, Is this lipstick? <laughs> I don't want to poison her. Grab the head so we can position. <laughs> okay, here we go. Just to the left and the right. Yep. No switching lanes, cuz this ain't no interstate. No, uh. All right. All right, gentle with it. Um, need to find the top. All right. What's your favorite color? Purple. All right, so this one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm scared for you. Oh, oh, oh. Rana. Yes. I did great. <laughs> This is Mabella Cardin, PNN. Thank you for watching Smith Station and have a great weekend. And in closing, we want to thank all of our sponsors. Oh, hi ho, your gas is getting low. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zamo, Zamo, Zamo. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zamo, Zamo, Zamo's.